By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what electronics is, how it's different from regular electricity, and why learning this can seriously change the way you see everyday devices. Let's start simple. What is electronics? Electronics is the science of controlling electricity to make it do useful things. Not just powering a light bulb, but making a phone vibrate, a fan speed up, or a computer solve a problem. The key idea of electronics is all about control, controlling how electricity flows and how it behaves inside a circuit. So we're not just using power, we're telling power what to do. Imagine you flip a light switch. That's electrical. Now, imagine a motion sensor. The motion sensor turns the light on when you walk in. That's electronic. It's sensing, thinking, and responding. Electrical versus electronics. People mix up the terms electrical and electronic all the time. What's the difference? Let's compare them. Electrical moves power. Electronic controls signals. Electrical controls motors and lights. Electronic examples are like phones and TVs. Electrical AC power lines. Electronics microchips. Electrical works with high voltage, while electronic often uses small voltages. Electrical systems deal with generating and transporting electricity like what comes out of your wall socket. Electronics is about processing information or signals like turning your voice into data and sending it across the globe. Look around. What do you think is electrical and what's electronic in your room right now? Please let me know down in the comments if you understood these two terms. Now, I have a question for you. Where do you see electronics? Electronics is everywhere. Let's go through your day. Your alarm clock. Your alarm clock wakes you up. It has a small electronic timer inside. You scroll on your phone. That's one giant piece of electronics. You use a microwave. Inside, it uses sensors and timers to heat food just right. You hop in your car. Modern cars have dozens of electronic control units for safety, speed, and comfort. You watch TV, play video games, or just listen to music, all controlled by circuits. Even your toothbrush might have electronics now. Now, one of the most important questions, why are you trying to learn electronics or why should you learn electronics? If you don't have the answer to this question, here are some reasons why you should learn electronics. The first one is build things. If you want to make your own robot, a sound sensor, an LED light show, it all starts with basic electronics. Number two, fix things. Understanding electronics means you can diagnose and repair broken gadgets. No more throwing stuff away. The third reason and is the one I really like is that you save money. Imagine changing a tiny component instead of replacing a whole device. Number four, for a career. Electronics is everywhere from phones to drones, from smart homes to artificial intelligence. The more you understand it, the more job ready you will be. And reason number five, which is one of the best reasons I learned electronics. It's fun and creative. Now that you have a basic idea of what is electronic, let's talk about things to know when learning electronics. Let's look at the first one. The first thing you need to know is what is electricity? Understand that electricity is the flow of electrons through a conductor, like a wire. It all starts at the atomic level. Next, you need to know what is voltage, current, and resistance. These are the three most important terms in electronics. Voltage pushes current. Current is the flow, and resistance slows it down. Next, you need to know what is Ohm's law. This is the basic formula that connects voltage, current, and resistance. It helps you calculate and design circuits. The next thing you need to learn is direct current, DC, and alternating current, AC. 
DC flows in one direction, like in batteries. AC changes direction, like in household outlets. Most beginner circuits use DC. Next, you need to understand circuits. A circuit is a closed loop that allows current to flow. If it breaks, the current stops. You need to learn basic components. You need to learn about resistors, which limits current. Learn about capacitors, which stores and releases energy. Learn about diodes, allows current in one direction. Learn about LED, a light that only turns on one way. And learn about transistors. Transistors act like a switch or amplifier. You need to learn about series and parallel circuits. Know the difference between series and parallel. In series, current flows through each component one after the other. In parallel, current splits and flows through multiple paths. Need to learn also about power supplies. Every circuit needs a power source like a battery or a DC adapter. Know how to connect it safely. You need to learn about breadboards. These allow you to build and test circuits without soldering. Great for beginners and easy to change. You also need to learn about reading circuit diagrams, also known as schematics. Learn to read and follow simple drawings that show how components are connected. Learn about polarity matches. Some components like LEDs and capacitors only work in one direction. Learn to connect them correctly. Multimeter basics. A multimeter lets you measure voltage, current, and resistance. It's a must-have tool for testing and troubleshooting. You have to learn how to use a resistor. Resistors limit current and protect parts like LED. Learn how to choose the right value using color codes or calculations. One of the most important things to learn is safety first. Even low voltage circuits can cause damage or injury. Always double check connections and never work on live circuits with high voltage. One of the most difficult things to use and learn is how to use a soldering iron. Believe me, they are not so easy to use. Eventually, you'll want to make permanent connections. Soldering helps attach wires and components neatly and securely. Learn about common mistakes to avoid. Short circuits, reverse polarity, and connecting parts to the wrong pins are beginner mistakes. Take your time and double check. Learn about using a switch. A switch controls the flow of current. You can use it to turn a circuit on and off manually. You have to learn to read data sheets. Every component has a data sheet that tells you its limits and how to use it. Learn how to find and understand one. The last but not the least, simple project build skills. So learn to build small projects. And this one is the most important one which is practice is key. So practice, practice, practice as much as possible. Electronics is not easy. It's very difficult to learn. It can only be learned with a lot of practice. The more circuits you build, the better you understand how electronics work. Don't be afraid to experiment and make mistakes. If I miss something, let me know down in the comments. Maybe you have some tips for someone starting to learn electronics. Keep it friendly on the comments and always remember to learn something new every day.